Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide here on the Borderlands Universe. This is the series where I take you through each of the three Borderlands games, Borderlands 1, 2 and the pre-sequel, and pick out a certain Easter egg or secret uh, referencing something in each of those games and then just bring it to you guys in a bit more detail and explain what it is all about. So back today for part 39, three more Easter eggs to bring you guys. Hopefully there's a couple in there that you don't know about. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So starting off in Borderlands 1, we are on the Salt Flats um, doing the last piece of the, uh, the Volkey mission. Just before you battle Baron Flint, there are a couple of ways of enemies and then uh, these two guys will pop out just before Flint does. They're called Hans and Franz. You can see they're two very big blokes. Franz is uh, quite ma massive and normal. Hans is even bigger, mostly a bit more deformed as well, as you can see. Uh, but Hans and Franz are actually based on the characters Hans and Franz from um, a show called Pumping Up Hans uh, and Franz, uh, which appeared on the, uh, the show Saturday Night Live. Um, they spoofed Arnold Schwarzenegger, used uh, padding for fake muscles, drab grey sweatsuits, weight bells and Austrian accents um, and did a load of phrases, things like uh, we are here to pump you up and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, just uh, basically little characters made uh, from Saturday Night Live. So this has uh, been recreated in Borderlands 1 as you can see. I'll show you a little bit of footage of them right now. Welcome again to Pumping Up with Hans and Franz, the informative training program for the serious weightlifter. All right, welcome. We're back. All right. Once again, I am Hans. Yeah, I'm, I'm Franz, and we are here to pump you up. Okay, so moving on to Borderlands 2 here. We are in the map Overlook, and uh, about roughly once a minute, an um, announcement will be made on the uh, speakers of Overlook. Um, there's quite a few of them really, so uh, it's totally random, but uh, it's one of them that we're looking at in particular. It'll be coming in about 10 seconds or so, uh, so listen very carefully to it. But uh, this quote in general is uh, from the Dark Tower series, so it should be coming up right now. Hi, Terry congratulates Harriet Lavis on the birth of her twins and wishes her luck in choosing which one to keep. So this actually uh, refers to the wolves from the Dark Tower series. Um, basically the wolves uh, work for the Crimson King. They're responsible for bringing back half the children. Uh, I think they attack like every 20 years. So they, uh, they steal the children um, and take them back to Phoenix so they can take the children's brain matter and feed them to the breakers, leaving the children root. Um, so yeah, basically, if uh, those of you that know Dark Tower series will know what this reference is, um, or actually about, and uh, yeah, unfortunately for uh, Harriet, she uh, might lose one of her kids, uh, but yeah, there you go, that is what that is referencing, that is a Dark Tower Easter egg, so let's move on to the pre-sequel. Here we are then, and uh, we're going to be looking at a weapon today, and the flavour text, and pretty much everything about the weapon really. Uh, the weapon itself is this guy right here, the uh, the railgun, the longest yard. Uh, so the weapon's name of this is a reference to the Quake 3 Arena map. Uh, it's called Q3DM17, but it's also known as the longest yard. Um, its description and type is a reference to the railgun, uh, which is a weapon most widely used on the said map. Um, so those of you that play Quake 3 will know uh, what this is all about. Uh, the red text simply says impressive. That is a reference to the impressive medal, which is earned from getting two consecutive accurate railgun shots without missing. So yeah, there you go. This whole gun, its text, its reference, its type, all comes down to the Quake 3 Arena, the longest yard, um, which I've probably already put a picture up of so you guys can actually just see the, the actual arena. Uh, but yeah, anyway guys, that is it for the uh, Easter eggs. Really hope you guys have enjoyed. That was part 39 of Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide. 
here on the Borderlands universe. Hopefully there was a couple in there that you didn't know about. If you knew all three of them, well done to you once again. Hopefully uh, you can look through some previous videos. Link in the description for the playlist for all of these Dragon Secrets guides. Uh, go and have a look through any of them and see if there's any that you do not know about. Uh, and yeah, as always, if there's any that you think I should know about that I might not or haven't covered already, drop them down in the comments below and I will certainly look into them. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.